Hello and welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at Matic. Before we jump into the price action, I just want to say thank you for watching. If you are enjoying the content, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and leave us some feedback down below. Also in the description you'll find a link to the Discord, come check it out, it's free to join. Okay, so for the most part there is a couple of ways of counting this move within Matic here. Um, the structure isn't really great at the moment and it is very choppy, but we can potentially argue that we have had an extended wave one here, two, three, four, and then looking for this as a fifth wave. So this is currently how I'm looking at this move, unless we cross above this one dollar six seven seven one. If we move above that, it would be it would mean that this wave five has become longer than the wave three, which is not a lot. So effectively, if we did that, we'd have to look at the potential of extension here, and we'll talk about that within the video as well. But until we do. This is what I'm currently looking at. Looking at these subwaves within the structure here, um, what we can argue is that we have this as a one, two, up into here as a three, four, and a diagonal for a fifth. So this would mean that we potentially completed um, this green third wave here, and we're looking for this fourth wave to the downside. So the key point with this is we'd be looking to potentially actually come back into this 148.10 to this 139.06. Ideally, we would want to come down deeper into the zone. Though this has been quite a strong move here, so it is possible we might only look to come back and retest the top end of this, which would actually be looking for this um, 148.10.0 area at a, at a 236. So, or for this current structure here, we could argue we would be looking to potentially look to move down towards that $1.4817. Uh, $1 so we can see that take us into this top end. Then from there it would be important. So this this move technically can push up here one more time and then look to break down after that. I wouldn't be expecting it to break this high then if we were looking for this continuation for this fourth. Um, we'd be looking to hold this high point here, this one five six seven eight. And then what I'd be looking for is evidence of this um of this fourth wave to play out. The thing is within the structure here. We can move this count around a little bit, which would indicate that potentially it could complete here already. But this is my preferred count. So I'm looking for that continuation um, to the upside one more time for a fifth wave. This could fall short, like I said, and only reach sort of the top end of this box area. Or, I mean, in reality, it can, it can even uh, complete above this 236 if it is going to be really small. But um, ideally, we want to see a bit more of a substantial move down here. So what we'd be looking for, ideally, like I said, is a move down into this zone. Uh, losing this uh, $1.3906 would would uh, be the first sort of sign that we could be wrong with this additional fourth and fifth. Though, to me, really, the point that I'd be looking at as this 13605, if we start to break down below that zone, then I'd be looking for actually um, to start and actually break down and look for a deeper retracement. But for as long as we hold this zone, we could look for this additional fifth wave to the upside here. Though, like I said, we know we wouldn't want to we wouldn't want to move above this one dollar sixty seven seventy one. If we move above that, that would actually invalidate the potential of looking at the wave count in this way. And um, effectively, then what we would be looking at is potentially a different structure. So, what I'd be looking for, um, if we do move up or past that zone, is we'd have to we'd have to start taking into account this. Uh, this can't. Let me turn this. Uh, let me turn this kind of count off here before I made a move. And we talked about this um, a couple of days ago. The potential that you know, if we do start to push up much higher here, and we start to to rally harder here, um, and we actually make it through this zone here of this one dollar seventy five, you know, we can potentially be looking to be within a bigger third wave here. If we look to target out this three dollars thirteen. And then looking for that, um, basically that additional fifth wave to the upside here of this 247 to this 225. There would be, we need to monitor this as it goes, because like I said, you know, we could just actually complete as a fifth year and then break down as long as we stay below that uh, 16771. The way I'd be looking at this then is that potentially we have this as a 1-2. Then we'd look at this additionally as a 1-2. And then basically beginning this bigger third wave here. So the incline is good for a third wave. But we need to see whether this continues to the upside here. Um, if we're looking at this option, if we do complete this uh, smaller five wave move that we have here, what I'd be looking for is actually holding this wave too low. 
and what we'd then be looking for was potential to actually come back and retest some of these zones so if we did move up into that box area that we have here effectively what we'd be then looking for is actually trying to find support again in this zone here of this uh, 50 percent to the 786 if that did occur then we could actually potentially look for a bigger move here where we get this um this whole move here becomes a wave one come back down for a two and then actually we look to progress up for that three four and a five so this is this is potentially something that can play out but we need to just be aware that if we fail to form this additional fifth wave here it becomes less likely but really until we actually break down below this one dollar 13 we can still look for this continuation um the only thing i have about this is this wave two would have been very short um which it can happen so it's not impossible but uh I would have preferred it to come down a bit deeper but uh yeah for the most part as long as we hold this low we could still potentially look to rally even higher here and this would be looking for that potential of actually making it up towards this one to one of the a wave which would be up here at this two dollars and 43 um so this is possible we also just need to be aware that um you know this could this could complete that five wave move and uh if i come back out here onto the wild well, let's go back so let me just remove this extension it's just so it clears it up a little bit and let's move here so one thing i am also looking at though if we're looking at this potentially as just a three-way move to the upside we can also argue this could become a one two and then we could actually look to progress up in another one two form another one here two and then look for a bigger trending move to the upside but we don't have that evidence yet what we'd want to do is see how we react on the retracement if we're looking at that five wave structure here we'd want to see that retracement back into that uh, lower range and i mean depending on how high we go here potentially that would be towards this one dollar eight to this 87 cent range so we'll have to monitor the the move on the way down but if what would be just what i wanted to say here is this 0 0.618 is a minimum c wave of trace uh, extension that we normally look for so that 157.50 is the minimum. So technically speaking, after this point, we could actually still have a C wave complete and actually look to um, complete at that point and then have a turnaround. If I just come back out here, I want to just also throw this uh, pip the other way around here. Get onto this high, down into this low. We can also see that uh, this 786 retracement is just above this high here, this $1.8158. So that's also another key area that if we do look to continue extending up here, we could actually look to move up to this one seven, uh, this 786 zone would be quite interesting as a retracement zone. Um, as well as that, you know, we do have some other targets that we can sort of throw onto this. If we look at this at a, as a sort of reverse fib off of this, off of this high here as well, we go down into this low you can see that that one that 1618 as well is in this zone just above this high point so if we do actually continue to push up here you know this one 184.67 could be an interesting zone that we actually look to move up into and look to test start the um the other thing that i wanted to say within this is if we do have an extension within this wave one another common area that we can look for as a um target for a, a fib relationship for the wave three to five it's actually this one six one eight so if we do actually move up into this point here you know it could be some it could be an interesting area this one sixty twenty one um if we do get that additional wave up here that would actually that would uh, line up with our idea of having this extension up one more time into this um into this box area so that'll be an area i'm keeping an eye on as well as uh, as well as these other structures that we've talked about within here if we do move up um this this one one seven five area could be quite a key zone and then if we do look to progress up past that effectively we could be looking at higher up here to the, the two six one eight something in that area or that one to one which we've talked about previously the the alternative here and the reason why we need to be a little bit careful within the structure is we were also looking at the potential for having a black correction playing out here where this is an a wave and actually all of this becomes a b wave and then we actually still look to push down for that c wave so these are always um 
always possible, especially when the, the structure has, is not great with magic as it is now. You can see that if we look at this in relation to this um, to this A or to this wave here, if we're looking at this as an A, a B, and then looking for that C, you see that 2.3236 uh, is here, that 16455, and alternatively we have this 1382 up here, this $1.8063. So this would be quite an interesting zone if we, if we do... Um, fail on the swing here you know we could we could actually push up above this towards the zone and then actually have that um much more violent sell off to the downside where this all just becomes a corrective pattern and then we look to um move up from that point so you know these are all possibilities we could also just um take it as a completed move as an abc like i said that's uh, 0 0.618 area would have been met and then we could actually look to sell off and continue to the downside where this whole move up has actually been a um a b wave so th there are some there are some bearish potentials but really until we actually start taking down some of these areas you know it's not it's not very likely until um until we start to show that structure to the downside if we started to get some fine sell-offs playing out we'd still have to be careful that it wasn't just that c wave that we were talking about uh in this just now and you know we could actually still have uh some something like this play out where we actually get all of this as a b wave to the upside here and then we still look to push to the downside one more time so like i said you know until until we actually start to lose some of these key key areas we have to just uh go along with the trend at the moment and and keep an eye on it if we fail to hold these supports on this on these retracements then effectively we can and if we fail to hold this zone of the 7502 you know then then um the bullish potential off of this structure here is uh it's sort of invalidated though like i said you know we could always just get this as an a we form a c and then we push up again um so yeah it's one of those things unfortunately we're gonna have to just keep an eye on it Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video. And why not leave us some feedback down below in the comment section. Also in the description, you'll find links to Discord. Come check it out. It's free to join. As well as that, in the description, you'll find affiliate links for both PrimeXBT and Bybit. Both great exchanges we use on a regular basis. Check them out. If you don't have an account, using the affiliate link does help support the channel. And we do appreciate the support. Everyone, have a great day. We'll see you in the next one.